Now I have seen a lot of designers who do not know how to use grids. So in this lesson I am going to set up a bootstrap grid uh, which is the latest bootstrap 4 grid and I am going to also set up the baseline grid uh, or vertical rhythm grid okay. So this is one of my designs you can see this is based on bootstrap 4 and uh, if I try to hide this guy, uh, grid you can see how everything has been aligned up. So uh, if you look at over here I have aligned them using these five columns rather than four so I am not aligning them to uh, this column okay so this hard lines this uh, these are basically the columns so I am using them okay so these guide these grids uh, this uh, grid system or these guides these columns they are going to uh, align my different objects on my design you can see over here like uh, this one I am using this three columns for this and three columns so four items and they are each taking three columns so total 12 columns so let's set up uh, the grid and I am also going to set up a modular grid which is going to use baseline uh, so the width I am going to use is 1440 to get some margins around them and the height I am going to use is 2400 so everything is same I'm going to press this create and here we have our document okay so there are many ways to create grid so I'm going to use Photoshop's default function which is called a new guide layout so go to view new guide layout press this and uh, I'm going to show you what are the settings I'm using so so the columns will be 12 the columns uh, total columns will be 12 the gutter size which is the space between the columns is going to be 30 pixels for bootstrap and uh, top will be 0 uh, bottom will be 0 this is these are the margins actually so left margin will be will be 165 and right will be 165 to make this perfect uh, 12 column grid okay so once i have created my grids you can see these blue grids grid lines uh, I want to have some hard columns so hard columns means I am going to create some shapes so I have uh, taken my shape tool and created this rectangle and I am going to replicate it and place it in each column so press alt or option key and drag it like this so I am actually duplicating and dragging so press alt when this cursor is doubled you can see the cursor keep doing this and we have our 12 column grid now I am going to group all these rectangles command G and uh, I am going to call them columns so we are going to press ctrl command T to um, oops so I'm going to press shift so actually uh, Photoshop had recently changed the shift key now if you try to hold shift it is going to go in one direction it is not going to you know okay so uh, this is our basically uh, grid so our columns are there okay so if you want to change the color so you can um, click on this FX selecting this uh, this group and uh, we are going to use color overlay and whatever color you want for example if I need some color like this and I want the opacity to be very light okay so let's okay so I'm going to reduce the opacity to 20% so here we have our grid and uh, our columns have been built for uh, this grid now we are going moving to the second part which is the vertical rhythm or the baseline grid so baseline grid is basically calculated on the typeface you are using for example if you are using 16 pixel type and uh, you are using the line height of uh, 24 pixels so basically it is the line height and uh, based on line height so uh, line height is basically the difference in the lines of your two text text lines uh, which is the base of your text to the next base of your text I have talked a lot about it in my typography course so I'm not going to um, talk about it right now it's a very big topic so what we are going to do is we are going to create a pattern 
and the width will be 100 pixels and the height will be 48 pixels so i'm going to show you let's zoom in 600 percent and i'm going to create a shape so i selected the shape click once on this width will be 100 and height will be 24 which is the half of the height of 48 so i'm going to align it like this just change the color to something gray like that okay so now command control a to select the whole canvas go to edit and define pattern so i'm going to name it um, baseline 24 pixels so actually i created a baseline of 24 and the next white is also 24 so let's apply it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new layer and i'm going to fill it with some color okay so right now you can see this is an empty layer so if you look closely on this layers panel it is empty layer so i'm going to press command delete which is going to fill it sorry alt delete or command delete to fill it with some color okay so color is filled now we need to apply the layer style okay so go to layers layer style pattern overlay Okay, now you can see here we have the pattern overlay so I'm going to select the last one which we created uh, which is this one okay snap to origin okay 100% press ok okay so here we have the vertical rhythm now we are going to move our columns at the top of it like this and this is our starting point for any design web design so if you are um, using uh, web design even in mobile app design you can do the same you can create your vertical rhythm and uh, you can see here i have created a bold text of adolescence 48 pixels and let me show you how we are going to use this grid so i am going to place my text like this so this is actually the baseline something like that okay so here i am going to place my text like this and if i try to use some other text for example a paragraph i am going to use the text size to be 16 and the uh, this line height this is the line height it is going to be 24 so this is bold let's use regular and i am going to zoom in because it is not 100 percent so let me show you how it is going to look like so let's move this text over here like that now if you look closely over here you can see that this text is lining up with our grid at the back okay so this is our baseline grid this is how i am going to use this grid to space out my vertical items Okay, so now you can see this is actually the starting point of my every design so if you don't know how to create this modular grid uh, these are actually modules very small modules so this is actually our grid uh, if you don't know how to create in photoshop similarly it can be done in a sketch software and uh, adobe xd i am not sure about the vertical rhythm but uh, columns can be created grid columns can be created so now you can see in this lesson I have created a 12 column grid uh, and also along with it baseline grid and uh, we have uh, we are using actually modular grid for our web design. If you want to learn more about it you can take my typography course link is in the description below and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video if you uh, have enjoyed it you can like it and also don't forget to subscribe.